Hey everyone this is Neha and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to learn poem number 8 on killing a tree from the book beehive of class 9 my lovely viewers if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe it and hit the bell icon right next to it for further notifications the poem on killing a tree is written by the poet give patel The poem on killing a tree tells us man's cruelty towards the tree which symbolizes nature. The poet gives us step by step instructions on how to kill a tree and makes us realize that killing a tree is similar to murdering a human being. Setting of the poem Setting of the poem is the modern world. The world is facing rapid deforestation for urbanization and industrialization. This world where trees are being killed is the setting of the poem. Let's start with the stanza 1. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown, slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust. absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves now glossary here jab means to hit something forcefully consuming means using the resources feeding upon to derive nutrition from and crust the top layer of the soil absorbing means to take inside and leprous hide it means discolored bark of the tree sprouting it means giving rise or birth to in this stanza the poet comments on the way a person cuts down a tree in order to serve his purpose the poet says that it's not easy to cut down a tree it's not easy to kill down a tree because a simple jab of the knife me uh, a single hit that we do forcefully is never enough to wipe out the tree's existence so the reason behind its strength is it's consuming the resources which it has got from the earth's crust so powerfully and the plant takes sunlight water air and nutrients from the soil to gradually become a huge tree so it will come out with leaves again and will grow as ever it develops a strong trunk leprous hide here means leprous uh, like discolored hide means skin of the tree that strong trunk of the tree that bark of the tree which has different patches like a person who is suffering from leprosy disease has on its skin so from somewhere the trunk of the, the skin of the tree is light brown and somewhere it is dark brown so it develops a strong trunk and gets numerous leaves on it so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size now the meanings hack here means cutting with heavy blows chop means to cut in pieces bleeding bark the secretion of liquid from the bark when it is cut with a sharp object curled here means twists something which is with twists twigs twigs means tender leaves miniature miniature means tiny and small boughs boughs means branches and expand means to grow in this stanza the poet further states the ways of cutting a tree so hack and chop but this alone won't do it means as the jab of the knife was not sufficient the poet advises us to hit the tree severely in the form of hacking and chopping but the poet contrasts that even that won't be enough to kill the tree this hacking and chopping would raise a pain to the tree 
but it's not good enough to kill it the bark will ooze out ooze out means it leak out the liquid and but over a period of time it gets healed then the fighting spirit of the tree will make it alive again from close to the ground it will start a new life again by giving rise to new leaves and small boughs these will make the tree so glorious again that it will acquire its former size therefore it's not easy to cut or kill a tree in short in this stanza the poet says that humans cut and chop the bark of the trees into many pieces but that is not sufficient to destroy the tree the point of the tree which gets cut gives out a sap a liquid just like a human being bleeds gradually this wood heals and from there new branches start growing again stanza 3 no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth here pull out means to take out from somewhere by force anchoring earth anchoring earth means trees are held securely with the help of roots in the earth snapped out chopped out earth cave the inside of the earth and sensitive means prone to tender feelings in this stanza the poet says that in order to kill the tree it has to be uprooted its roots must be pulled out from the earth and one has to separate the tree from the earth which supports it the roots of the tree bind the tree with the soil in the pit of the earth and from there the most sensitive and hidden part of the tree the roots have to be detached and the roots are white in color and they are damp this is the actual start of the death of the tree as the life source of the tree its roots are exposed next stanza stanza 4 then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done Here scorching and choking means the drying up of the tree after being uprooted. Browning means the color gradually getting brown. Twisting means getting bent and moved. Hardening means the process of becoming hard. Withering means the process of decaying. So in the previous stanza the poet discussed the way a tree is uprooted and exposed to the surroundings when the tree is uprooted and left open in the surrounding then the sun starts drying it up with the burning heat and this intense heat makes the root of the tree getting choked in the air and sunlight heat makes the root brown which was wild earlier and hardens it by soaking all the moisture content and then the root starts twisting from the original shape and finally gets withered from its parts this brings the actual end to the life of the tree and that is how it is done in the end the poet takes us into a detailed account of how we kill a tree what suffering does it have to face and how harsh our attitude is for the ones which is the breath of our lives In short in this stanza the poet conveyed that once the tree has been uprooted then gradually it withers and dries up with the action of heat and wind and the trunk will become brown twist and it will harden and finally the tree will die this way rhyme scheme the poem is written in free verse so there is no rhyme scheme literary devices 
नंबर वन मेटाफर वेयर इन डायरेक्ट कंपेरिजन इज मेड सो इन द्रेज इज लाइक लेपरस हाइड द अन इवन कलर ऑफ द सर्फेस ऑफ द ट्रंक ऑफ अ ट्री इज कंपेयर टू द स्किन ऑफ अ पर्सन हु इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम लेपरेसी डिजीज देन इन द वर्ड्स ब्लीडिंग बाग द सैप कमिंग आउट ऑफ द ट्री वेयर इट इज कट इट इज कंपेयर टू द ब्लीडिंग फ्रॉम द वोन्ड इन अ ह्यूमन्स बॉडी then there is alliteration repetition of a consonant sound in two or more closely placed words for example in bleeding bark the b sound is repeated and white and wet w sound is repeated then there is repetition the pulled out word is repeated again and again thanks for watching